All right, thanks again to PCB Wave for supplying PC boards on the channel. Um, we have boards and they look beautiful. Um, they're about it, what, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, something like that. And uh, we've got uh, inside dog on the back. So they look great. So um, everything is surface mount except for the two potentiometers. And uh, so I will get one of these loaded up. And uh, yeah, we will uh, try it out. Boards are available on my share site, of course. All right, here's the board all loaded up. Uh, it came out really, really nice. Um, I used a 70, let's see, an TL074. You could use an 084. You could probably use any old quad op amp there. Probably would work just fine. Um, I found these potentiometers. They aren't quite the right, right footprint, but they'll work fine. Um, the schematic calls out uh, 2.5K, and I had some, some 5Ks, and so I, I have 5Ks in there, and that, that works just great. Um, no problem at all. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hook this thing up to the oscilloscope and see if it works. All right, I uh, have the oscilloscope probes hooked up, so let's take a look. Oh, lovely. I've uh, pulled out my analog oscilloscope, uh, which gives a nice, uh, nice picture here. Let me uh, rearrange things just a bit. All right, there we go. Lovely picture. Yeah, so you can see these two... Uh, kind of stable sections here and every once in a while it can jump jump over to the other side and uh, yeah that's what it does it's it's very very cool all right so I have the X channel hooked to X and the Y channel hooked to Z so let me do X and Y see what that looks like about the same and then let me do Y and Z Let's hook that one up. Oh, and that one just does a kind of a side profile of the whole thing. So that's not very interesting. So we'll go back to the other one. So um, if you get this thing up and running, it might not work. You might say, oh, there's something wrong, okay? And it has to do with the, uh, with the two potentiometers. So I'm going to tweak those two potentiometers to give you some waveforms that you might see and kind of freak out about. I'm going to adjust the uh, R2, and you can see that we're getting uh, one stable section here, okay? And so that is the uh, gyrator oscillator. That's what it does, okay? And um, the weird diode circuit does the, does the double thing, right? You can get it over there, or you can get it over there. So yeah, so you kind of have to, whoops, or you can get a big one. So you can get all sorts of, uh, all sorts of in-between things that you think, oh, it might be broken, right? And then let me adjust the oscillator um, and you might get just a spot, another big circle, here this. Let me really maladjust it here because it might start out funny for you. Let's see here. Yeah. So anyway, like I said, it can start out in weird, weird things, and you really do have to kind of search around for where it's going to work and where it's not going to work. So you can see here, I don't really know which which thing's wrong right now, and so I just kind of have to play with it. I go, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, but it's kind of clipping here. Well, that's interesting. So I'll go back to the other one. Oops. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better there. And they kind of interact with one another. So you can just kind of play with it until uh, until you get the picture that you want. That's kind of cool. I like that one. Anyway, there you go. It even goes inside a little bit. That's kind of fun. All right. Um, so let me let me show you the same picture on a digital oscilloscope so you'll, so you'll know what that looks like. All right, there you go. I've hooked up my Rigol for a XY display, and uh, that's the kind of picture you'll get out of that. Now, you can change the time base, so uh, you can accumulate more, more, more uh, kind of s swirls per, per trace, 
or you can back it up and only see only see a few of them which is sometimes interesting too but yeah there you go all right that was a fun little project and this one will be inexpensive because you don't have to have any uh, multipliers which are which are expensive parts the uh, quad op amps gonna be quite cheap so you should be able to build this one for good money um, so there you go um, that was the uh, Chua circuit um, and uh, yeah I had a lot of fun on that one <laughs>